Hey guys, it's me Tiffany. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm reacting to the pilot trailer of Red P. Fowl, which is a series with a huge, huge cast with a lot of very well known actors in the BL community and some very new faces too. Which, when okay, I have to be very honest, there was speculations on who the two main characters are going to be, the main couple is going to be. There was like Yin War rumors, there was um. Moss Bank rumors. I expected it to be somebody that is more popular and more well known, experienced in BL to be the main cast, but it's just it's two newbies. Like I'm mean, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just like you have such amazing actors, amazing cast. I just expect that to be equal to that. Like I'm not saying I don't like the new main, the new the like the newer actors, but at the same time it's like I have so much expectations kind of in the actors i don't have much expectation in how the show is gonna go because okay it could go really two ways it could be you know i think like because this is a police and mafia based show i have expectation of a quality similar to history three the taiwanese bl tizzy trapped um but also kim porsche i think kim porsche set the bar for quality mafia darker like um kind of illegal-esque show in BL that ha the quality was so high up in a way that nothing so far that is mafia like has passed that situation so uh, they do have a lot of um, space to fill so, yeah yeah and also I don't know it, it this I if you watch my TikToks I do also have this fear of the actors there's a lot of actors who have an amazing, amazing show. Obviously, Boone being in Until We Meet Again, Remember Me, oh, uh, another Remember Me. What was it called? Between Us, and then obviously Max being, we've seen various BL series, love that. Mech, also a very well actor who's done a lot of non BLs and two BLs. I don't remember how BLs he's been, but he's been a few from GMO, obviously. And then there's also. Cool Heart, Ben, and there's another actor, I don't remember his name, but he was in... Actually, no, he's not in that category. There's also three actors. Oh, actually, Gunn is also... He was in Love by Chance. That's the only good show that he was been in. But Gunn, Frank, Long Lee, and the other actor from um, Gen Y has been a hit or miss show. They've been a hit or miss. It, it could be the quality. I am sort of like, is it Long Lee and Frank good actors? I'm not sure. Is it because of their their series that they've gotten? The reason why it was really bad, like the screenwrite, or is it because of them? It's hard to tell at this point because the the story that they've been all been in are all like really questionable. So I can't. I, I cannot judge, but. I feel like this show is either a big hit or a big ass miss. I don't think there's something in the in between. I think with the big of a cast and with the kind of like the promotion and like talk in the BL community about the show already from like like fans, it's a bigger hit hit or miss. And the last time this happened was Kim Porsche's series, and thank God Kim Porsche was picked up by a different company. Though this company is fucked up and stupid, and I hate that company. Uh, now. But when they got picked up and the effort they put into putting Kim Porsche and rewriting Kim Porsche, it really like sold it. If it was with the old company, it would have been like more of an Unforgotten Night kind of deal of being really, really bad, writ badly written. So now, are th this is just a pilot trailer. I have a lot of things to say it already. So we're going to watch this and see how this is going. See how the story is going to go. And then obviously the budget probably is going to be a bit lower compared to like what it's actually being aired and stuff like that because it's a pilot so without further ado let's find out if the storyline is worth the hype that us fans have been giving it Ooh. He looks like a Chinese actor that I know. Lu Yipeng, Lu 
จะให้เราเรียกว่าสลวัตรูดีคุณต้องการอะไรคุณสะกดคำว่าผมคงช่วยได้ไหมโอ้เป็นหนึ่งในห้าแก๊งมาเฟียที่น่ากลัวที่สุดในเฟยชีคุณแน่ใจเหรอว่าลูกอีเผิงจะทำสำเร็จสารวัตรลูกเป็นคนมีไหวพริบวิชาการต่อสู้ก็ไม่แพ้ใครและที่สำคัญเขาคือคนเดียวที่เคยรอดจากนกยุงแดงมาได้ครับ Oh, he was like, "Go, okay." ทดลองครับผมจะไม่กลับไปที่นั่นนี่น่าเสียดายนะงั้นเราคงไม่มีทางปิดคดีเมี่ยวเซียวตรงได้คราวนี้คิดไปเรื่อยถ้าจับเราได้จะตั้งข้อหาอะไรว่าเราคิดว่าเราเรียนเรื่องนี้มาจากไหนมาอู้โอ้โอ้โอต้องตัดแฮนด์ขึ้นออกเราชอบออกบุกช่วยที่ขาคุณที่สุดคุณจะทำอะไรคุณรู้ได้ยังไงว่าเขาจะไปที่นั่นคุณพูดเหมือนผมไม่ต้องหาของคุณเลยนะครับคือหวังคุณว่าไงเนี่ยจะรู้จักนกยุงแดงดีนะครับคุณมีความสัมพันธ์อะไรกับเขากันแน่ถ้าคุณหมายถึงความสัมพันธ์แบบนั้นแล้วก็ไปถามสารวัตรลูกเพื่อนคุณจะดีกว่าโอ้ยเขาจะดีขอบคุณมากเพื่อนนี่มึงจะเอาอย่างนี้ไปทำอะไรโอ้ยเขาจะต้องกินเงี้ยวเวก thank god ให้กูอะจะเป็นต้องใช้อยู่เว้ยงั้นเดี๋ยวกูไปแล้วเดี๋ยวตำรวจกับมาเฟียมันอยู่ด้วยกันไม่ได้หรอกเรื่องที่ผ่านไปแล้วอ่ะคิดถึงมันมันก็แก้ไขไม่ได้ไหมประสานของเขาเจอผิดเราไม่ได้คิดถึงเรื่องนั้นอีกละนกยุงแดงของคุณก็สวยดีทำไมถึงไม่อยากให้ใครเห็นเนี่ยพราะเรากลัวคนมองจะหลงรักมันแทนเราท้ายนกยุงก็เป็นได้แค่เหยื่อเกี่ยวหัวหนึ่งเขาคืนนี้ฝนตกหนักมากผมกลับไม่ได้แล้วโอ้ my gosh Max man สวัสดีครับท่านอาทิบดีสารวัตรลูนี่ร้ายเอาเรื่องเหมือนกันนะเรื่องอะไรล่ะครับท่านเข้ามาไม่ถึงนาทีลูกสาวผมก็เกิดจนหน้าแดงไปแล้วแต่ไหนแต่ไรพวกเราไม่เคยมาก้าวไก่กันแต่เราทะเลาะกันเพราะแค่คนคนเดียวจริงเหรอมาสงสัยพี่ Sorry. แต่เราทะเลาะกันเพราะแค่คนคนเดียวจริงเหรอมาสงสัยพี่ผมไปซื้อผมไม่เคยมีความรักเสียดายนะพี่เมียวหายตัวมาก่อนแต่ตอนนี้ผมต้องถามผมคงช่วยแล้วล่ะหัวหงพูดถูกแล้วขออภัยที่มาสายโอเคโอเคโอเคไอซี่คุณภาพ
เรื่องทั้งหมดเนี่ยมันเป็นแผนของคุณใช่ปะคุณพูดมาดิถ้ามึงไม่ได้ทำอ่ะมึงก็พูดออกมาทำไมไม่พูดอ่ะ Falling in love was not part of his plan. Xiao Yun. Xiao Yun. สวัสดีลูกอีผมแกเป็นใครใครอยากรู้ก็หันมาดูเองโอ้ shit เขาอยู่ไหนว้าวคุณกล้ามากับผมหรือเปล่าล่ะคงช่วยผมไม่เข้าใจอันไหนคือตัวตนจริงของคุณกันแน่เพิงเพิงบางทีสิ่งที่รับได้ยากที่สุดในโลกนี้ก็คือความจริงนี่แหละโอ้ยเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้า Yacht? So yacht. Oh, I didn't. I didn't see. I didn't see him. I don't remember seeing him. Gun. Ben. Oh, I didn't see Ben either. Ben. Okay. 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 To be honest, like I said earlier, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of actors that we know in love and has shown the quality of acting skills that they have, but there's also some that hasn't lived up to the actor's name. I think actor name. I think so. And I was really iffy about the story because when we were, when they were releasing all the characters and actors playing these these roles, I was like, when it, when it, when when are we stopping? Why is there so many actors? But I think that I think in a lot of the series, which I think I loved, I like like how they did this. And they did this in Kim Porsche as well. Is I think in a lot of the series in general, the series they will release and focus their like promotion on the main lead, obviously, and then on at most five or six of the. Supporting role as supporting actors, and that's obviously because it's easier to do that. And then like the other characters, the other supporting characters, the the smaller roles don't usually get any attention. But I think this show that this company really chose to um promote all the actors in a way equally at the beginning. Like I think like closer to the release, we're gonna see more of the well known actors doing events and. The more popular actors and the ones who have the most lines and most screen time and most like has more important roles to be promoting the show. But for now, the pilot and everything, they really spend time and introduce every single actor. I think, I think that's very valuable. But at the same time, I think without knowing much about what's gonna happen, the storyline of the series, it felt like, are we gonna have enough time to focus on every single character? But I don't think we're gonna get a storyline or something related for every single character. I think it's more gonna be like there's gonna be maybe like the main couple, obviously, and the people around them being focused on, and like not obviously not all of them also have storyline, but they're all gonna be supporting in the sense of like creating this main story of what's gonna happen, which I still don't get honestly. It's I did I'm uh, sorry I still spent a lot of time figuring out who the actors were <laughs> half the time and like. The relation to each other, and I still so confused. And I think, like, honestly, I'm not gonna put an effort into figuring it out until maybe the pilot. I'm not the pilot until the real right, official trailer ever comes out. But it does seem like it is very interesting, and obviously, there's no time. I don't think there's a, like a like a estimated time for when the series is gonna come out. But it does. It it's very. It does seem promising. Okay, I don't want to say this because I've forgotten. I also seem promising. But at the same time, I I have I'm giving the feeling that I had back when I first ever watched a pilot trailer for Kim Porsche, and I even just the pilot trailer I was not expecting any like much quality from the trailer a pilot trailer I feel like a lot of times the pilot trailers quality does is lower but the CGI from the fires and the acting and just the scenes the stunt I think the biggest time is if 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 there's stunt choreography being used in a show. You can really tell what 
show has the budget for a quality show and what budget. So there are certain shows that like you can tell the fighting is so fake. They did not put the effort in. And but this one, I do see it though. They try to zoom out, zoom out a little bit to like try to mask maybe some of the imperfection of the stunt work. But it does seem very good quality, very well done. And just the production and the set design, very very expensive looking, which I like. And because. Honestly, this these type of shows with such a big cast, such a big storyline, you need a big deal of money to make it well done. And it's that's the truth because all these things when you go the cheap route, you can see it's cheap. The audience can pick maybe not all the audience, but like personally for me, I like picking up details and I always pick up details if you watch my reactions. So it was like I will pick up the imperfections of certain things that are just not right. But so far it does seem pretty solid and it's just a pilot so imagine the money and the effort that's gonna be from the trailer and also like sometimes I stopped giving high expectations but I kind of want to give a high expectation for this show because it is like I don't want to keep bringing up Kim Porsche but it's giving that feeling to me and I haven't got a feeling because I don't think we, we kind of like drew away in the BL community from these like mafia s stories for a bit oh I, I just finished well never mind like and then they can just be on general we stopped kind of getting these kind of darker stories for a while but like now coming back it's like okay it's giving when i was like watch that and i love it i love it um yeah so i excited to see how this is go it, i haven't seen much like other like if there's other couples but i feel like there's like two just there were only thinking of one couple like there might be like size small couples but other than that actually i, didn't, I don't think we saw any but yeah, yeah, pretty much. But I want to go to see like the profile of these actors that are gonna be in this. Those are the main main two main characters because I don't know them compared to the other more well known one. What's called Red P Fowl. Okay. Dollar and. Oh, I cannot pronounce your name. I'm sorry, buddy. My My Ike. Oh, he was born to be Y. Oh, he's gonna be born to be Y. Okay. And then him. Oh, I forgot to check his age. Oh, he's a fun. Oh, he wasn't Les Icon. Oh, it was was he under Nadal? Oh, he was under Nadal. Okay, but he was in Les Icon, which is the couple. Uh, not the couple. The 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 competition that created Las One, which is. Dawu and Offroad's group. But okay, he's been in other shows, so he's not newish. I just don't know him. I did not check his age either. Shit. Uh his age. 18. Oh, young. Okay, okay. 99. Oh, okay. But yeah, that's pretty much it for my reaction. Excited to see this. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on my social media link down below. See you next time. Bye.